My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Griplands. This is the start of the second Rook campaign uh, after the loss in the previous episode, but we start with Orig loving us. Is it Orig or Rug? Krog, it's Krog. Uh, 20 shield discount from shopkeepers. So we're gonna be using that to remove a bunch of cards from my deck very early on. The land around the ground bodge squelches with mud, hungry for legs as well as boots. The only road leads to a gate flanked by armed security. All right, uh, I've gone through this conversation recently. Is it gonna be different at all? Stop right there with the bag is closed. Especially the grifters like you. Unless you pay the uh, processing fee. Uh, for the effects that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna skip the ones that we've done the conversation in the last couple episodes, if it's exactly the same. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna obviously try and convince here. So let's go grumble grumble. Defend myself and then gamble, possibly for more defense. Yeah, I went for offense, it's fine. Just need to play as many of them as I can. Okay, I'm gonna go double defend this turn, definitely. Uh, that's got my gamble sticky, I want that back. So hopefully this gets us the other side. Didn't. Okay, I'll still use that to get my gamble sticky back and then gamble again. I'm just trying to get as much experience out of this fight as I possibly can. That's something I lost last time. Uh, when dismissed, Vectorini loses half of their resolve. The bounty lasts for one more turn. I don't need that. Okay, you got a lot of intense, uh, intense attacking me right now. I don't love that. I'm taking some of it. <sighs> Ow. Okay, let's go. Composure, composure, call it. Okay, I'll take out one of them. It's rational. Let's play some trees, fine. Okay, that'll actually get the kill, that's fine. That's a lot of experience, honestly, and I only lost five resolve over the course of the fight. That could be a lot worse. Okay, now I have to decide my actual build again. Burn, hits all enemy arguments. In negotiation, it's a hostile as well. I like that. Prepared, three plus damage and draw a card. I like prepared as well. Gamble twice, evoke. Change the position of a card in my hand, unplayable. So Evoke will play from my draw pile or hand for free if the requirements are met and it'll gamble twice. Interesting. I do like a hard gambling build. I'm gonna take a gab. I mean, it's uncommon. We'll try and build around that. Let's actually have a look at also its upgrades. Gamble three times or it's zero cost and it can be evoked. It's not unplayable, so I can play it if I happen to draw it first. Interesting. Boosted Gab might be the way that I go with that, though. Alright. I don't think asking about things is necessary here. I don't think it actually changes stuff that happens later, so I'm just gonna skip that. Okay, the blacklist is for taking names. Shovel is two bonus damage per empty cell, gain two defense per charge. It's very powerful. I'm here to dig, I'll go to the Calandra, or I'm here to work security. That's the blacklist. Okay, cool, got it. Um, well, I took the blacklist last time, but I didn't actually utilize it. What if I take it and start utilize, uh, utilizing it here, try and focus on it as heavily as I can? The only thing I picked up so far is Gab, so I can go like uh, any kind of build so far. I'm not locked into anything. But this will change the story. 
Just for the variety's sake, I think I'll go with the dig, uh, because I imagine it will change the roles of the characters in the main story for us. A foreman in the workers' camp. Someone named Prindo Calandra, I think. Calandra? Lucky break. She won't work to the death, that's for sure. I think she's too soft on the workers, if you ask me. I don't think I did. Roll them, though. Alright, uh, anything to declare, boombox for those, uh, cranial, negotiation slot, or upgrade a battle card. Yeah, let's go for the negotiation graph slot. Alright. Start with Calandra. White hot stinger on the back of the neck, feel the neck. Yep, there's my... Oh, five resolve back! Beautiful! And I got uh, Twig and Stam. Okay, are those different at all to the previous ones? Whenever the increase... Okay, yeah, that's no, the same. And Twig yeah, is the same as the last one. Okay, I will still try and lean into the Parasite builds. I want to see if I can do that. I get in so many different combats that I think I will actually be able to give them time to actually fully upgrade. I take every opportunity there is for a fight. And sometimes that gives me the opportunity to fight again later. You know, when I have to kill the person that <laughs> inevitably hates me now. That's enough. Uh, oh, th this this should be new. You had to dig, Gifter? Should I ban my shovel? You ban your shovel. Well, I'm here to dig, friend. Why else would anyone show up in the bog? Good point. Talk to Kalanda. She will set you up to contact. Kalandra holds herself like a leader in sheep's clothing. She looks up as you approach. I believe you're the foreman, yeah, Kalandra? You pass her work visa, quickly flashing your signet coin between your fingers as you do. Her eyes light up shrewdly, and maybe this mark of mischief. I am, but I should warn you, this work isn't for the meek. The bog will be the death of you, if you let it reach your neck. That's the coast phrase you were expecting. Uh, I mean, this is the exact same as the last conversation we had. Okay, Griff of the Mill, that gives us a draft. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for the one that gives us a graft. Get a graft super early and start upgrading it. Sounds great to me. Okay. So Griff of the Mill is the same first mission. We have to collect people to join in on the rally. Gab isn't useful yet, but I will start getting things that will prepare things for me, I think. It's my plan, at least. Prepare a card. That'll do. I'm going to prepare the Gab, which will trigger Gab. Works in the end. I'm end taking two damage there. Could be worse. Diplomacy cards deal negative one. Fine, I'm gonna go rationale, rationale. Just that's some experience on that turn. Thank you. I'm fine taking the turn just to get some experience. Again, double rationale, especially on the rationales. Not having those upgraded early uh, in the previous area was bad. That was a problem for us. I still have the diplomacy cards left in the shuffle, so I wanted to remove that. This is when dismissed. Veep loses six resolves. So that'll be the kill. There we go. Oh my god, I didn't actually manage to remove it. I rolled the one. Wow. That's what I get for trying to get experience. I mean, Stem is constantly getting more experience here. That's working. Fine. All right. Choose a negotiation card. Gain two influence. Draw two cards. Gamble for each hostile card drawn. Draw a card. This card costs zero. What is this upgrade to? Uh, draw two cards, it costs zero on the other side, or draw two cards, it costs zero on the same side. Interesting. I think Bluff wants to go in this deck, regardless. 
I think I want to try and do a deck that jumps back and forth between negotiation, uh, well, negotiation, hostility and diplomacy. Next name on the list is Oreg. Okay. Spark Barons, uh, Decessionist Materials. Yeah, this is this is just a different character doing the same conversation as we've seen before. Uh, convince Kevin it wasn't me. Alright, Stam is getting upgraded a lot here. I'm loving that. Let's go for some trickery. Uh, prepare a card. Fine, I am going to prepare Stam, which will actually gamble two times for me here. And, and then grumble at him. Get grumbled on. Oh, you took it. How dare you? A lot of gambling I can do here. I mean, it's not like I could have triggered that again, so it's fine, but still. Uh, double rationale. Gain one composure of each hostile card I draw, or give me gab back. I don't really care about the gab, so I'm going to grumble to remove that. Looking for defend two times here. Dang. Missed on one of them. Okay, stems getting a lot here. When this argument is dismissed, gain three vulnerability. Increase all resolve loss by one. Oh god, that's awful. Yeah, this is going to deal like a bunch of damage to us. That sucked. Oh, what a bad turn. Oh, you suck. This is an Auric. This is Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, why? This is so much damage. Kevin, what did I ever do to you? Reduce your damage by 33% here. You got Gab, you got Grumble, you got Call It. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Rationale and then Pleasantries end the fight. Prepared, gain an influence. Spend an influence. This card deals, gains three bonus damage for the negotiation. Ooh. If, every time you gamble, reduce the cost of a, this card by one until the end of your turn. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I want to gamble so many times in the same turn. There's a lot of resolve loss there. I might actually, uh, through, pay through to help me. Do what? Help me in a negotiation? I'm fine. Uh, you are the proprietor, though. I was really hoping that you would actually, uh, provide me a drink. I mean, Oreg, fine. Convince him to attend the rally. Definitely got to go with the composure. I'll grumble with the card that's most, uh, or closest rather, to getting upgraded. Uh, gain one count whenever a card is played, and I'll lose five resolve, and the argument will be dismissed at the count of ten. Got it. I'll look to try and remove that, I think. Ooh, I am going to gamble a lot here. Neat. Let's draw a card, discard a card here. Get rid of the bluff, I think. The 
counter that is going up. I think I might just want to Dilemma it right now to save myself a bunch of damage. Thank heck that killed it. I don't get to rationale myself here for the defense, but I think ultimately it ends up saving me a lot. When Dismissed Aurig loses 6 Resolve, that's what we're looking for. We'll go with the uh, Pleasantries that's most upgraded first. Uh, rationale afterwards. I need some more resolve. Next time I have the opportunity to go somewhere to get some resolve, I just need to take the opportunity. Trickery to draw two cards, I think. I was ideally looking for more defense. We are just dying to attrition here. I don't like it. I should know myself again and Dilemma. Dilemma is starting to get upgraded at least. Might even upgrade Dilemma before we end this fight. You may even lose this fight actually though. Aurig loses 6 resolve when you... Okay, cool. Never mind. We're fine. So it's rationale for the defense. Trickery. Draw 2. Draw 2. Stem. Thanks. Thank heck Stem didn't uh, hit the pleasantries, but we also have 2 pleasantries, so it's okay. Remove that, and then we win the fight. Great. So call it got upgraded. I'm looking to yeah, double gamble there. Gamble, apply five composure only if it's a heads. What? They're both gambles for an effect. I'll I'll take the crown rationale because ultimately better for what we're looking for. This is just what I want. Yeah, apply four composure. Thank you. I wanted another one of those in the other one, please. Uh, prepared, apply two composure to a random target every time you play a card. Okay, let's look at the potential upgrades. One composure to all of your arguments or three composure to around. Yeah, I like the idea of this. This is a good card to have set up in prepare. In prepared, rather. Okay. Greetings once again. You're not actually going to sell me a drink at all. I I can't do another another resolve here. I think I have to go to the Rise Rally. I can't go to Power's Bunk. Well, actually, if I lose Power's Bunk, right, I just lose the resolve. It's fine. Maybe I end up succeeding. And even if I don't, there's another combat I get to go through at least. Should I pay Torrin to help me? 45 shields, so I can only pay one of these people to actually help me in the combat anyway. They'll only give me, like, one argument at the start. I don't think it'll even do anything. Sympathizes with the Spark Barons. Oofed. Okay, let's gamble. Love the idea of throwing out the Dilemma, but it really can't afford to. It's Rationale that I'll upgrade at the end of the turn. Okay, what's that? Diplomacy cards deal negative one damage? Yeah. Now let's gamble and see if I can pose myself this turn, right? I do! Haha, <laughs> yeah! I don't think this is possible. It's fine though. Hey, Stem's almost upgraded. Let's 
improvise a shifty, use shifty to prepare a pleasantry, which will play the gab, which will gamble twice for me. Use my own pleasantries then, and then gamble twice more. For a little bit more defense. Oof. Bone tired. Love that. This sucks, though. I need uh, some defense. That works. Oh, Jargon's now... Oh, my God. I can't believe I wasn't even considering that Jargon was going to be in that position then. Oh, I really should have been. Uh, let's throw out another Pleasantry. It's the one that will upgrade at the end of the turn. Uh, end of the fight, rather. There's the Earworm. If this isn't in your hand at the end of the turn, add another Earworm to your draw pile. That doesn't stay over the main, like, the full game, right? A gamble. Hopefully I get the defense there. I do. This gives me the ability to use Dilemma for four damage. It's fine. I leave on one health. Maybe I get the kill this turn, or maybe I can still defend this turn. I actually might still be able to defend this turn. Crown Rationale to defend ourselves. That'll do it. Mirrored call it for two. Hopefully ending on the wrong side. It's fine. Still ended up doing damage. And I'll play out the year one. Orig. Oh my god. We actually might get this. Holy heck! We did it! <laughs> yeah! Call it more gambles, thank you. Dilemma, uh, give it an extra range, thank you. Grumble, draw a card by base, gamble before you do that. Do I want to gamble before I do that? It's an extra gamble every turn. So this is just a one damage gamble, I think. Eh, draw a card is probably better, honestly. For drawing into cheap gambles and cheap boosted dilemmas. Deal max damage destroy. Hmm. That'll remove it from the deck, making the deck a little thinner. Do like a thin deck. And I'll take the crown rationale again. But single target. Improvise plus. Or, no, improvise uh, upgraded cards, definitely. Improvise plus is just two more options in your improvisa uh, improvisation there. Dead draw. Draw two cards and then gamble. Interesting. Bluff is very good for this kind of deck. Dead draw, though. Uh, lowers its cost. I mean... Yeah, that's good. I'm going to take the bluff instead, though. You think this is some rally? Well, it's actually a testier metal. Barons will be watching, yeah, and they'll look for those who stand above the rest. Workers of merit, workers of integrity. What? Are you saying this rally is some sort of test? Not saying anything. But I will say the only way to fail is to fail to make an appearance. Well, Hirsch, no one told me it wasn't the real rally. Sure, I'll be there. With bells on. If I can requisition bells, that is, we're only allotted so many per workhouse. It's not honest, but it's still a win. I got the whole list for Calandra. Baby. Hell yes. I have only one resolve left, but it's worth it. In the you find in the corner Calandra told you about an anchored trolley stands, blah blah blah. Yeah, we've seen this yeah. before. Shut down the hell <laughs> Okay, I only have one. Damn it. Uh, Drabbit is the rise pamphleteer. At least I have someone helping me. Okay, that's, uh, target's opponent for one per turn. Am I already done? No, I'm not already done. It's fine. I can use that. For the full defense. And let's go. Uh, giant hit. Uh, it's mirror gamble. Dang it. Wish I could have grumbled halfway through that. 
It's okay, though. With that defense opening, maybe we do this. Diplomacy cards deal left one damage. You suck, game. Rude. All right, I'm going to rig to uh, two heads so that I can use Crown Rationale for defense safely here and then also play a Pleasantries afterwards. We might still do this. It's rough, but we might. So I do have a called uh, heads. So I can use Crown Rush and all again. Okay. Then let's uh, mirrored call it. Not really what I was hoping to get from that. That's okay though. It's visionary grumble to remove that. There's Pleasantries, which would actually end up dealing three damage this turn. Uh, I want to play out Earworm, but I think I have to play the damage here. Hey, thank you for the Bone Tide. Bone Tide is super important for the enemy to be playing here. Uh, okay. Do that. Then I will boost the rationale to defend you, which is fine. And then I can earworm just to make sure I don't get another one in the deck. We're actually going to manage to do this on one. Incredible. Let's bluff again. Grumble at him. Really? Oh, don't you dare have this fail me now. That's fine. I'll rig to snails and then I'll mirrored call it. My god, that actually. Please, 50 50. Thank heck I managed to defend there. How'd you get all the block? What'd I do? Oh, never mind. Rabble Rouser finished it. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's grumble for the. Ooh, 3 to 3. Neat. Rig one? Nah. Three to three. Just for the extra damage, thank you. Prepare a card? Yeah, we want things that prepare cards for us. Great. Spotty, when this uh, when this is drawn, gain an action and expend. Prepare a card. Prepared. This card costs zero. That's great for the kind of preparing thing that I'm trying to do here. Just go dog it, I think. You don't like what you hear? Leave. Oh, I'm leaving, all right. I don't want to be here when the barons decide to deal with you like the way they did the last uprising. Almost a decade too late for that. The heckler dealt with, nobody even knows there was trouble. Dravit finishes his speech and even earns some scattered applauds. Tough crowd. That went well. I think we're really reaching the people. Thanks, Rook. They get the area. Great. I could not have done that mission better, and that is a hard mission to do perfectly on day one. Kalandra, please. What is my reward? The rally's over. Good one, Rook. This one really reached people, I can tell. You get 80 shills. Who else likes me? Does it Drabit like me as well? No, Kalandra just likes me. That's fine. And I got my graph reward. Whenever you gain charge, gain two. Okay, I still haven't gone into battle at all, so. Deal two bonus damage to targets with ricochet. Ricochet target. Uh, whenever this target takes damage from a card, deal that much damage to a random enemy target and reduce ricochet by one. Mm. Whenever you gain charge, gain two defense. I mean, that's quite powerful. At the start of each combat, gain three concentration. Increases the minimum damage of your attack. Take half your concentration when you take unmitigated damage from your enemy. I think it's one of these two. This is extra damage at the start of each combat. This is a lot more sustainability. 
Especially, like, especially if I then build into a charge build, this is a lot of defense for us. Yeah, I'll build into a charge build, I think, yeah. Uh, okay, combat and negotiation. This is just combat. I think I have to go with the one that's just combat here, honestly. It also gives brain gills. The next card played this turn gains three additional EXP, so getting that early is really powerful. Let's sleep in Bog's Lie. It's a wildcat dig that's disturbed. It's vicious urchin. That's fine. Uh, Kalantra wants you to wipe out an urchin nest to cover up an illegal wildcat dig in the bog. Okay, actually... Ever heard of wildcat dig? It's an unlicensed excavation run by off-duty workers hoping for luck to be on their side. Suppose the spark barons don't approve. Neither do the urchins, apparently. Some of the uh, guys just busted open a nest. That'd be sure to draw the baron's eye. Unless we want the whole bog to feel a crackdown, I need you to help the workers cover it up. I'm sure the uh, extermination job isn't beyond the limits of my abilities. It's simple. First, wipe out the urchins, then burn the x -Ax. Just make sure the barons don't find out, and we're golden. If you need supplies, check into the last stand. We don't have much to spare, but the barkeep here sells whatever you might need. The bar is kind of a neutral ground for the spark barons who want to pretend that the workers like them. I've seen that one already. I might be able to convince some of the workers to come and help me. And even if I can't, I'm going to need resolve later anyway. So I may as well just go here and I get a little bit drunk. Ah, thank you, it. I'm going to compliment you on your perception. They can take our youth, eh? But they can't take our cannon. <laughs> oh, if they would, if they could, I'm sure of it. All right, well met then. Enjoy your... Do you have your squadron coin? Cannon. Can I see it? Now that's quite personal. No, please don't take offense. I'm a collector, you see. Yeah, we've seen this. Seen that before. Hey, Bangabut. Draw a card, discard a card. I'm not going for the discard build. I'm going for just like jump back and forth. This is more composure for us, and I'm flipping the coin constantly. And I am rigging for heads a little bit of the time here as well. Make the marsh coin. I think I'll take the marsh coin. Hello. Oh. Thank you for the graft, I guess. Uh, the side of each battle gains to charge. Oh my god. That just synergizes with the other one I have, right? You pistols. I haven't even got pistol upgrade yet. Um, Grafts. Yeah, this one is whenever you get, uh, gain charge, gain two defense. This is just two charge on the first turn. Start of each combat discard it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, the twin shot there. That sounds great. It'll work with the kind of build that I'm planning on going for as well. Um, ten resolve for ten shills, but it gives me slurred speech and tipsy. I think I need that. Black market. You've heard that the Jakes are running a black market here in Grabbog. I'll do that and then go down, I think, actually. Oh, uh, right. Convinced to let me in. Mention a friend who's a member. Oh, I want to convince to let me in. That'll be good for us. Okay, I really want to play this earworm. Let's prepare the earworm just to get Gab out. Okay. And there we go. Finally got the earworm out. I need to actually start playing it so that I can actually upgrade it. Like, I need to play the main one, not just other ones. Zero, neat. Sure, Doggett is like almost lethal here. Actually, almost, yeah, almost. I'm gonna put the bluff in front. Bluff. And then just pleasant trees for the kill. Great negotiation right there for us. Uh, deal plus one damage for every argument you have. Discard a card. Spend all dominance. I'm fine with that. Thank you. Thank you. 
My work takes me all over the continent. Yeah, no, I've been through that before. Pluck the swab. Huh. You look like someone who could use an edge. I have several available for a price. You remember the spark barons, aren't you? Okay, never mind. We did ask that before. Um, let's have a look at some combat graphs here. Auto tracker is two mark at the start of each turn to a random enemy. Whenever you attack this guy, uh, whenever you attack this target, gain one charge and reduce mark by one. Oh my god, that's great, right? I think I just take that. Look at the negotiation slots as well. Reflexive snails, ring two. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right, Serpo, so, you have nothing for me. Proprietor. Okay, you remove cards from me. Great. So let's remove a battle card that I don't want. Um, should I get rid of Tipsy? No. Tipsy will, uh, it's removed upon sleep, and so is the slurred speech one as well, so I may as well just leave those there. Uh... These blasts often get upgraded with charge, kick a decent damage. Hmm. I'm gonna remove a kick, actually. It's a basic attack. Negotiation card as well. So let's speech again will also remove itself in the moving uh, morning. Uh, hmm. Those crown rationales actually don't make me feel that great. So this is a heavy gambling, heavy prepared build, right? That's the whole thing that I'm doing. Let's probably get the rooted grumble out of here. Yeah. Okay. So cards I could buy, but I can't actually afford any of them. That makes sense. Remove a random debuff from an enemy. Get an action. Interesting. Oh, well. Oh, that's all we have time for, actually, in this episode for the moment. My name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Grifflin. So hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. So there's a playlist in the description down below uh, where, uh, wh where uh, there are other videos for this that you could watch if you'd like to. Uh, also, I will mention, uh, if you are watching this as it is coming out or in the next couple of hours after it's come out, uh, I stream four hours after this goes live. Four hours? Five hours after this video went live. I am streaming on Twitch, specifically doing a Grifflands run. It's, uh, Sal is what I'm doing at the moment because obviously there's not multiple save files, at least that I can access. Um, are there? Hang on, let's return to the main menu. Are there multiple different save files? I don't think there are. Yeah, I think there's just the one save file. So the Sal is midway through a run. Uh, and I'm doing that over on Twitch, after which I will probably do a different Sal run, at the very least until I finish this Rook run on YouTube. Those will eventually, possibly, also make their way to YouTube. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.